check this shit out. If I could do it with one hand. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Streetwise Garage. Um, today, here I got Nifty's cart again. Uh, Ricky, aka Nifty. This is his 350Z that I've been working on. I showed you guys how to do the over fenders, the rear and the front. And uh, I already prepped with the car. As you can see, it's already uh, ready to get sprayed. I just got to finish uh, doing the roof and this pillar. Uh, prepped that up and it's ready to go. I already got everything else done. All the bodywork stuff. Um, got everything else fitted the way it should. The last thing he needs to do is just come and uh, trim the fenders himself, but I'm sure he can do that once uh, this is done. So um, right now I'm just going to remove the over fenders, remove the front bumper, headlights, taillights, and uh, start masking up since everything else is already ready. Once I'm done masking up, I'll start on working on the, uh, the roof wrap to get that out the way. That way tomorrow in the morning I can just come and just give it a quick little sand down and start with the, with the paint work. So I want to get everything done right now as like much as I can. Since I have tomorrow off, I can work here kind of late. I'm not going to make too much noise obviously, but um, I do want to get most of the car done. So that way I can go and start uh, getting it painted. And we can be on with this one too because I just finished the R32. I'll show you guys that in the morning so, I can, uh, so you guys can actually see how it, it fully came out. But this is going to be cool because it's going to be, uh, we're going to do it all white with the blue pearl and he's going to do some crazy library on this car and it's going to be super cool. I actually just picked up a 350Z earlier today. Uh, I'll show you guys that in the morning too because it's a little too dark to show you guys anything outside. But I just picked that car up, not this one but a Z. Came with Lambo doors, it's so fucking cool. Um, it already has a welded diff, uh, it, has a, it needs coilovers but it has a, a carbon fiber HR hood. Um, has a full body kit, a uh, little extra stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's there, it needs a little bit of love, but um, nothing, uh, any little minor body work and paint can do, so that's going to be another cool little fun car, that's going to be like a full, uh, only uh, track purpose car, so I sold the Genesis, uh, I still have the S14, and I got my 350Z now, so that's going to be a full on track car, I still have a 240 that I bought, um, like, about a week ago, that I also got to get, uh, get that, making it uh, look pretty, and then sell that as well but for now it's just sitting at my friend's house and I gotta get that um, gotta get that going and get it painted so I can resell it and make some profit that way I can build a Z because I'm debating tomorrow once I'm done with this if I should head over and go pick up another wise fab angle kit for the new Z I just picked up but I think I'm just gonna get the coilovers first and then we can go with the angle kit and then just go with everything else and have this car as a full-on track car and we set to go yeah, because typically I just want to get back into drifting, so um, I think it was kind of cool that I picked up another Z and I finally get to get another track car, so it's going to be super cool and fun and uh, this will be super cool and fun too. So tomorrow I'm going to get this painted, uh, right now I'm just going to start masking up, getting everything else prepped up and ready and we should be good to go. So um, I finished uh, setting up, went over the whole body, uh, took off the roof wrap. Sanded it, prepped it, cleaned it, and everything. Everything's already masked up and ready to go. Now the last thing is I gotta find my mask, and I'm sure my dumbass left it in there. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Stay. Um, okay, I guess now I gotta go in and get my mask. Oh no, there we go. And I just gotta go back and finish masking all this up the way it was. That way nothing comes off, nothing acts up, and everything goes as planned. Oh my god, it's not going as planned. I'm, I need an adult. Fuck. There we go. Um, mask up. Let me finish masking up right there again. Okay, so some of it uh, peeled up, and I'm going to fix it right here. So Nifty asked me to please not show the color once it's done. So I'm gonna show all this right now, but when I start painting his car and everything, I'll show you guys the process of it. I'm not gonna do like a time lapse because uh, it puts too much uh, damage on my camera. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna give it a uh, the sealer, which is the primer, and then I'll show you guys that. And then I'll, once I start doing the color, I'm gonna have to hide it from there. I'll probably do that black and white and just go over it, and we'll go from there. Um, right now, what I'm doing is. I'm finishing up the R32 because the customer is actually coming in a little bit to pick it up. Uh, I have it over here. The tires are flat because uh, I think his uh, seals are leaking from the, from the wheels alone, but um, I cut myself. Um, 
Yeah, so right now I just finished uh, cutting the other side of the side screw so I can make everything fit properly. Everything else over here is, it has been uh, mounted back on, put back on like I should be, or how it should be, my bad. Um, I'm gonna bring it out right now just so I can give it like a quick little wash before he comes and picks it up because he's already on his way. Like, it's about like an hour drive, almost two hours, but um, what do you call it? Uh, he's gonna come and pick it up in a little bit. So I wanna get this looking nice and pretty before he comes, get all this looking nice and shiny. Probably give this little shit a wash too. But at the same time, uh, I do have Nifty's car to finish, but I can probably finish this stuff on Sunday. And yeah, so right now I'm gonna finish, uh, put the dogs in, so that way I can open up the gate because they always like get out. So I'm gonna start moving cars, and I'm gonna move these two cars together, wash them both, and have a good time. And I'm gonna show you guys something cool. It got really dark, but um, let me open up the garage first. Um, so I picked up a new car. I actually got rid of the Genesis that I had because the car just didn't fit my style. It just wasn't something that I actually wanted. But um, I did get rid of it and I picked up something that actually was my style. And something that I'm going to use nothing, I mean, something I'm going to use only uh, for track purpose only. It is a 350Z that I just picked up a couple days ago. There's a cool thing about it. Um, it has Lambo doors. So. <laughs> I picked up a new bumper actually. There's a bumper right there. But um that's a veal new Z. Looks like shit. It looks all riced out, but when I'm done with it, woo! It's gonna like tie it. I'm actually uh I got someone bringing me some coilovers right now. Uh, he's gonna be here in the same thing like in like two, three hours, so he's bringing me coilovers and then I'm also gonna pick up a uh, wise fab from Henry again like I did with my old Z, so so I can uh, be back on that like I did before because I just have wise fab on my old 350Z. So I'm trying to get back on that, I'm trying to get back on that level. Um, I have someone bringing me coilovers right now. And after those coilovers, um, I already got a new front bumper for it. And then from there, exterior wise is already done. I got new tires for my wheels that are on it at the moment. And then I'm gonna start buying spare wheels a little by little. Start buying tires and just always be ready for, uh, for track time whenever it comes up. I'm gonna try to get the car registered so it can at least be uh, somewhat of a street legal car so I'm gonna keep the intake on and I might get um what do you call it a uh, like a cutoff valve so whenever I drive it's quiet whenever I'm at the track open it up and it gets loud so it's gonna be kind of fun uh it is a, a 2004 I believe so it's a, it's a pretty good year um most of the other ones that I've owned uh were 2003 so it's gonna be fun super fun me and a couple friends right now are working on a on a color scheme and a library because we're gonna be starting like some type of like little uh, team, so we're trying to work on that in a little bit, and uh, we're gonna see what color we're gonna go with. I personally picked out like a type of yellow. At the same time, uh, we're thinking of just going to straight black with like some library, so something simple as well. But at the same time, we want something crazy. So, um, but right now I'm gonna uh, get that car out the way, get the truck out the way, and get this car outside so I can wash it and get it ready for the customer and finish uh, Nifty's uh, extra parts, and we'll go from there.